Introducing the ultimate collection of professional, hassle-free retro tools, including Scanimate logos, VHS elements, textures and transitions, the amazing VHS emulator, and more. If you haven't already, head to sourcelab.shop to elevate your edits with VHS Toolkit Pro. The link is in the description. Now let's dive into how to use each tool within the pack. Once you've downloaded your zip file, extract it to view the contents. Let's start with the VHS logos. Before opening the project file, you will want to ensure the fonts are installed. You can find the links to the free fonts in the Assets folder. Now we can select a logo in the Project Files folder. We will be using After Effects for now, but feel free to skip ahead if you are using Premiere Pro. Hmm, let's go with the bonus logo, which is a new and exclusive logo for this pack. Once it's open, you'll be in the master composition. This is where you will render your final logo. To change the text, open the edit text comp. Here you can change the text, font, and other text style settings. For this example, we will change the primary text to zoom. Navigate back to the master comp. You will find a control layer with an effect that you can double click. This will bring up an array of different settings to freely customize the logo to your liking. For this example, we will remove the other text and change some other settings. With all of the tools, it's good to experiment with the different options until you find something that works best for your project. Now let's take a look at the VHS emulator. One way that you can use this tool is by importing it into a current project, like so. This is useful if you are already working on a project and want to quickly see what it would look like with the emulator applied. Once applied, Navigate to the emulator comp. This is where you will render the final animation from. You will also find the comp in which you will drop your source animation into. As you can see, the nice subtle VHS effects have been applied to the logo. The second way to open the VHS emulator is directly through the extracted folder. Here you can simply drag and drop your animation into the designated composition. Let's add some footage and a logo. This is a really quick way to add a very subtle but warm effect, which can then be increased or decreased in intensity. The custom effect in the controls layer will reveal the many different customizable options to suit your needs. There are a load of different effects that mimic those of a real VHS video, and some stylized ones which you might also need. Again, experiment and tweak until you find something that works well for you. This is looking good, but we can make it look even better. In the zip file you will find textures and transitions. These will give your videos those nice defects reminiscent of old VHS tapes. Once you've dragged in your chosen textures, you can loop them like so. Next, you'll want to play around with the blending mode. I usually prefer color dodge or screen, but others might also work for you.
Once your textures and transitions are in place, you can add a displacement map to your source footage and link it to the texture overlay. I'll go with defects medium as it's less of a heavy distortion. Navigating back to the emulator comp will show you all of the final effects in place. It is recommended to use VHS textures with the emulator to get the best results. The great thing about this toolkit is that you can also generate endless possibilities of textures using the defect generator. Experiment with the many different options to generate your own textures and transitions. We can also add retro elements, which are a mixture of different overlays that will enhance your projects. The 4x3 frame can be used to generate the authentic VHS format, as well as the classic recording overlay frame. You might want to adjust these details in the Elements folder in the zip file, where you will find an After Effects file that contains the customizable template. You can also get creative and add 3D models, backgrounds, and much more. And there you have it, your professional, warm retro VHS edit, customized to your desire. Now we're going to take a look at how to use the toolkit for Premiere Pro. For the VHS logos, ensure you download and install any fonts before customizing. They can be found in the Assets folder. Navigate to the logos in the Project File folder. Then drag them into the Essentials Graphics panel in Premiere Pro. Let's use Liquid Pristine for this example. Drag it into your timeline and click Edit to view the different customizable options. You can change the text as well as various other options to make it your own. There are also some simple VHS effects which you might want to adjust. When working in Premiere Pro, it is recommended to export your edits first, before moving on to the emulator, which will add the nice nostalgic VHS effects. Now let's move on to the VHS emulator. Drag the file into the Essential Graphics panel like so. From here we can drag it into the timeline. Select it, and go to the Edit tab of the Essential Graphics panel. This is where we will drag our source footage or edit to. You might want to use a pre-rendered edit so you can add the effects all in one go. This is a really quick way to add a subtle but warm effect, which can then be increased or decreased in intensity. The custom effects in the edit tab contains the many different customizable options to suit your needs. In the original folder you will also find textures and transitions. These will give your videos those nice defects reminiscent of old VHS tapes. Select the ones that work best for you, and drag them into the project, making sure they are on separate tracks. Next you'll want to play around with the blending mode. I usually prefer color dodge, or screen, but others might also work for you. Here I've used multiply for the frame, which removes the light colors.
There is also a big selection of transitions which you can use to stitch your retro edits together. All of the textures loop seamlessly, so feel free to loop them by holding Alt and dragging the clips across. Some overlap is good to create variants. Now we are going to take a look at the VHS elements, which are a mixture of different overlays that will enhance your projects. Let's drag in the play and globe icon as an example. After dragging them in, you can change the motion properties to your liking. Thank you for watching. We hope you enjoy your new professional VHS tools. Please help us by dropping a like or comment, or tagging us in your creations on Instagram. Happy creating!